Hey everybody, what is happening? You are the Geek here. It is day 19 of 25 days of Christmas. So today we're going to be reviewing the 2018 film the Grinch, simply titled The Grinch. Uh, yesterday I did uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey version, live action uh, version in 2000, and the one the day before that I did the 1966 anime feature, which is always on TV. Now this is the uh, 2018 version, it's uh, uh, CGI, all CGI, it's computer animated, and uh, it was done really well, I think. Benedict Cumberbatch plays the Grinch, and he does a good job. Played the Grinch. I never see him playing a comedic role. It's always well. I seen him in the Marvel movies, and he does some comedic roles as Doctor Strange in the Marvel movies. But other than that, like he did play like some serious roles uh, with Sherlock Holmes and Star Trek, and you know things like that. But in the movie, he plays the Grinch. Uh, one of the Who's who hates Christmas and the other Who's love Christmas in Whoville and they decorate their houses. The Grinch hates that, he doesn't like Christmas. Throughout the movie you'll understand why he hates Christmas. But uh, yeah, he despised Christmas so his plan was simply steal it. He goes to Whoville, they're shot by Santa Claus, going out in the chimney, steals the Christmas trees, the gifts, the Christmas lights and yeah, everything. Christmas decorations, he plans to steal it all and throw it over the mountain so the Who's could be miserable. But the Who's are never miserable because they're always uh, happy and funny and laughing all the time and yeah, that's their, their life. But what do I think about this movie? It's pretty good. For a, for a children's computer animated movie, I, I, I enjoyed it. It was a really good movie. And it, like I said, Benedict Cumberbatch did a good job. You know, not as good as Jim Carrey, what I mentioned yesterday in my review, but it's better to call him back. I gave him a break. He did a good job as playing a comedic role in a family film. And uh, yeah, that's one of my one of my uh, review. And yeah, that's it for uh, for the Grinch series because I did uh, two days ago. I did the Grinch and the other the other version, 1966, and the other version. So this is the last uh, film of this. So far that I know about the Grinch series, and there is a song for the themes, for the animated uh, actual theme song for the film, and yeah, it's not bad. I forgot the theme song for these uh, for these newer movies, but uh, I'll post it down below for for what's the theme song called. You can go check it out for yourself, and it's a pretty catchy tune. Uh, it plays during the during the scenes. That he steals Christmas and he goes around the town who go kicking everything. Actually, there's a song, there's a theme, scene where he, one of the Who's are, are singing or playing or playing like an instrument and he comes back and he throws something at him. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, and that's my review for The Grinch. It's actually uh, the company's uh, Illumination, the same people who did the uh, Despicable Me Minions uh, company, Minions films. And yeah, that's why the Illumination did this Grinch featurette, uh, which is pretty good. It's a very short film, not long. They're, they're computer generated movies. Computer generated anime movies are not bad. They're just short because they're for kids, right? So, other than that, I really enjoyed this movie, no complaints. Uh, just bending the counter back. Weird as a Grinch, but. You did a pretty good job on it. If you guys like this review, smash that like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Catch you later, dudes.